And now for our dinosaur of the day, Tethyshadrus insularis, which was a request from Ricardo via Patreon, so thanks, Ricardo. The genus name is after Tethys, an ocean that was in the Alpine Himalayan orogenic belt, and the fact that it's a hadrosauroid. And the type species is Tethyshadrus insularis. And insularis means insular or of the island. And at the time, Tethys Hadrus lived, it lived on the Adriatic Dinaric Island, which is a large island of the European archipelago. It was described in 2009 by Fabio Marca Dalla Vecchia, an Italian paleontologist. And the site where Tethys Hadros was found was discovered in the 80s by Ozio Tarlo and Giorgio Rimoli. And a student named Tiziana Brazzati found hand bones in the area in 1994. A company called Stone Age, which deals with fossils, got a commission to excavate fossils, and they had to remove more than 300 tons of rock. And Dalavecchia helped guide the project. And the holotype, Tethys Hadros, which is nicknamed Antonio, was taken out of the quarry in 1999, though slightly damaged. Six other Tethys Hadros specimens were found, though one fell apart during excavation, and another one there were only four limbs found. Tethys Hadros is a hadrosauroid that lived in what is now Italy, and in 2009, Fabio Marco Dalla Vecchia named Tethys Hadros in a paper in the Journal of Vertebrate Paleontology called Tethys Hadros Insularis, a new hadrosauroid dinosaur, Ornithischia, from the Upper Cretaceous of Italy. Again, the holotype is of a mostly complete skeleton, and nicknamed Antonio, and it's one of the most complete dinosaur skeletons found. According to the paper, quote, the specimen is the most complete skeleton among medium to large sized dinosaurs found in Europe since the 1878 discovery of Iguanodon and Dolodon at Bernissart, Belgium. End quote. And the holotype, they figure it was about five to six years old. It has a mix of derived and primitive features, and it was about 13 feet or four meters long and weighed 770 pounds or 350 kilograms. It had a large elongated skull and a short neck and tail and long legs. It was possibly a fast runner based on its long legs and not having too many toes. And Dallavecchia said that it's small because of insular dwarfism. And insular dwarfism is when animals are on an island and they have limited resources so they become smaller over time. Dallavecchia said that basal hadrosauroids were probably island hopping from Asia, which is how Tethys hadros ended up on an island in Europe. He doesn't think that it comes from European or American hadrosaurs. So over time, sea levels may have changed and lands moved around, making it possible to island hop. And the Tethys Ocean covered most of southern Europe at the time. Tethys hadros had a serrated snowplow-shaped beak, not a duck-like beak as hadrosaurs are known for, and this upper beak was pointed. It's unclear why the beak looked the way it did. It could have been for display or grooming or biting certain types of vegetation. The fossils are now at the Civico Museo di Storia Natural di Trieste. And you can see an animation of Antonio online, and we'll post the link on our blog. So, Hadrosauroidea, which Tethys hadros is part of, is a superfamily of duck-built dinosaurs, or hadrosaurids, and dinosaurs more closely related to them than Iguanodon. <laughs> 